when the requested page from the CPU is not available in the main memory, it has to be called from the second memory devices. So that situation is called page fault. The page which we use it for, which we may not use it for short time and we may use it for long time. So those pages has to be replaced with the new page. This is the concept of optimal page replacement. This phenomenon is experienced while using FIFO page displacement algorithm. Dear students, welcome to BCA classes. I am Ravi Kumar Kyar, lecturer in Computer Science, Vidyasham First Grade College, Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Students, let us start our discussion with the concept virtual memory and in this session, we are going to talk about page replacement algorithm. So we are going to discuss about the different methods of page replacement algorithm. Now let us see the definition of page fault. Already we have learned this definition in my previous session. So here a page fault happens when a running program access a memory page that is mapped into the virtual address space, but not loaded in the physical memory. Since the actual physical memory is much smaller than virtual memory, page fault happens. When the requested page from the CPU is not available in the main memory, it has to be called from the second memory devices. So that situation is called page fault. And in case of page fault, operating system might have replaced one of the existing page with the newly needed page. So that is called page replacement. So once the particular information or the page is not available in the memory, so the CPU has to call the information or a particular page from the secondary memory devices. But during the process that the one of the existing page in the main memory, it has to swap out to the main memory, secondary memory devices. So in that way, it has to replace with one of the existing pages with the newly needed page. So this is the concept of page replacement. What is page replacement? A page replacement is an operating system. In operating system is the process in which a page from the main memory is replaced with a page from the secondary memory devices. Page replacement occurs because of page fault. So we have to replace the page because of page fault. In the next slide, let us see the different methods of page replacement. So here we have different algorithms and first one is first in first out, optimal page replacement, least recently used and most recently used. These are the four different algorithms for page replacement. Now let us see what is the first method, first in, first out or FIFO. FIFO stands for first in, first out. See, this is the simplest page replacement algorithm. In this, the operating system keeps track of the pages in the memory in a queue and the oldest page in the front of the queue. When a page needs to be replaced, page in the front of the queue is selected for removal. So actually the concept here is first in, first out. So the first page which has been in the queue, it will be replaced with the new, new page from the secondary memory devices. That is the definition of first in, first out algorithm. Now let us see an example here. For example, so here this is the reference string and here 1, 3, 0, 3, 5, 6, 3 are the reference strings. And here imagine that there are three frames, frame 1, frame 2, frame 3. So here how the replacement takes place in FIFO algorithm. Here in the first one, the first string is 1. So when at the beginning, all the three frames are free. So here the first string, it goes to frame number one. So this is called page fault. Why is the page fault? At the beginning, all the frames are, all the frames were empty. So there are 
the required string one, it was not available in the main memory. So it has to call back from the secondary memory devices. So that, is, that situation is called page fault. So here page fault, so that one has to come here, the string reference string one here and again. Next go for three, the value given is three here. And again, the two frames are free here. Again, you have to copy the same thing here one for the second frame we have to copy the value three here. So similarly, this is also a page fault. And again, consider the next value zero. So if you look at a zero here, zero again uh, in the main memory, zero is not available, it is page fault. And again, the one more frame is free. So we have to copy from this zero to this frame three. So now at this stage, three page faults, all the frames are filled with values in the pages. So next we look into the next value that is three. Now when you look at the value three here, consider these three values in the main memory. So already three is available here. So this, this is called a hit. So here the page here, the value three is already in the main memory. So it has, it is a situation is called hit. So we have to copy exactly as it is from the previous value. So here one, three, and zero, we have to cop copy as it is. So now three, next value is five. When you consider the value five here, so five is not available here in the previous values. So all the frames are not free. So here, this is a new page. It has to replace with any of the page in the main memory. So as per the first in, first out concept or in the algorithm, the first string entered the queue, the, all this in the form of a queue. So in this one, the oldest value or the oldest page or the first queue entered into the first page entered into the queue will be replaced here. Accordingly, if you look, consider one, three, zero, the one is the, this the page has been added at the beginning. So this has to be replaced with the new page that is five. So it will be replaced with the five and three and zero we have to copy as it is. So this is page fault. So after this page fault, again, next value is six. Again, if you look into these values, six, uh, six is not available here. So it is again a page fault condition. So here page fault condition. So this has to be replaced, uh, this six value has replaced with any of the pages in the here. So in this one, five, three, six, if you consider this, see after five, three is the one which has uh, added to the queue as the second one. So in this way, three has to be replaced with the new page six. So five as it is, six and zero I have to copy as it is. So five, six, three, this is the one thing. So this is again page fault. Now we consider three. When you consider three here, if you look at the string here or in the pages in the main memory, so here value three, is, page three is not available here. So situation is called page fault. So here three, it has to replace with one of the frames in the main memory, but here the oldest page here, here is zero. So zero has to be replaced, this zero has to be replaced with the new page three. So this is three here. So see, this is the concept of first in first out algorithm. So generally the first page entered the queue, ready queue, it will be replaced with the newly added page or new page here. So accordingly, if you consider this, now if you count here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six page fault and one hit. So if you want to calculate the ratio, page fault ratio or page hit ratio, the formula is the total page fault multiplied by 100 divided by total reference string. So accordingly, in this example, there are six page fault. So six into 100 by seven. So we'll get the value 85.72 is the percentage or the ratio of page fault. Similarly, if you calculate the ratio of page hit ratio, formula remains same, only you have to change the total number of hit in this example. So accordingly, there is only one hit situation, 
1 into 100 by 7. So this is 14.28 percentage. So this is the ratio of page fault ratio as well as page hit ratio in FIFO, first in, first out algorithm. Now in the next slide, we will see another method of page replacement that is optimal page replacement. So optimal page re replacement, another method of page replacement algorithm. Now we'll look at the example here. The definition is in this algorithm, pages are replaced which, which would not be used for long duration of time in the future. So here we have to consider the pages which are which we may not use it for long time. Those pages has to be replaced with the new pages from the secondary memory devices. So now look at the example here. In this example, this is a given reference string 7012030423030. See, so this is the reference string. So in the reference string, and here there are number of frames, there are four number of frames. Now consider this. Now let us try to solve it, this algorithm. Now first here, as at the beginning, all the four frames were free. So generally we have to, we can write everything will be first four will be page fault. So accordingly we are writing the values of the page here seven and these three will be blank. Next seven you have to copy as it is. Next is zero and next is one and next one is two. So at this stage there are four page fault occurs. So after this, after page fault, now consider the value zero. Now consider the value zero. So here optimal page replacement means we have to replace with the page which we may not use it for a long time. Accordingly, you consider this. Now next value is zero. In zero, already zero is available. So this situation is called page hit. So we, we have to copy exactly as it is 7012. Next, we go for page three here. So in a page three, in this example, three is not available here. So the situation is called page fault. So in the page fault, we have to, this is a new page had replaced with the, which one we may not use it for long time. In that case, see now I'm looking for the value three. From here, you consider in this direction or towards right of it. If you consider this, the page seven is not at all available here so that we may not require the page seven for our reference. In that way, so we have to replace this seven with the value three. So accordingly, now replace seven with three. So three, zero, one, two, we have to copy exactly as it is. So this page fault. Next we'll go for zero. This is referencing zero page. So already zero is here. So it is a, again, the zero, which is a hit condition here three zeros here, so hit condition. Next we go for next value four here. So if you look at the value four here, in this one, if you consider this, now look at the values here, here three, zero, one, two. Out of these through these two, if you consider from here, this point toward this side, two, three, zero, three, zero, one, two. 3, 0, 1, 2, and again 3, 0 here, 2 already we have used here, 3, we may use it shortly, 0, 3, and 2 is the, not 3. If you consider here, 3, 0, 1, 2. Here, from here after, the page number 1 is not available, so we have to replace this with 4 here. So in that way, so this is, 3, 0, this one replaced with the 4, 4 and 2. You have to copy as it is the remaining values. So this is page fault. Now after this 4, we go for 2. If you look at, consider the value 2. In the value 2 here, consider this 3, 0, 4, 2. Already 4 is uh, value 2, page 2 is available here. So this situation is called hit situation. So we have to copy exactly as it is without any changes. Next again, go for three here. Next value is three. From this, already three is available in the main memory. So it is, it is called hit. So accordingly, copy exactly as it is, three, zero, four, two. So next one is, we have to go for, after three, again, go for three again. So here, 
in that condition, three, all the available here, three, zero, four, two, I have to copy as it is, that is hit condition. Again, two is available here, three, and again, one more three here. So all these values are already available in the main memory. So there is no question of page fault situation. So it is called hit situation. So accordingly, if you consider at the end of this, if you count number of page fault and hit ratio, here is, there are six, four, five, six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six page fault and and here total hit is eight. So if you consider again, we have to calculate the page fault ratio and page hit ratio, same formula as we have followed in the previous slide or FIFO form algorithm. So accordingly, this is six into 100 by 14. 14 is the total number of strings. So here, so a 14, so we'll get 42%, 42.85% and hit ratio is 57.14%. So this is an algorithm, optimal page replacement algorithm. And here the definition is, the page will be replaced with the page which we use it for, which we may not use it for short time and we may use it for long time. So those pages has to be replaced with the new page. This is the concept of optimal page replacement. In the next slide, we'll go for Next algorithm, least recently used. Least recently used algorithm. So the definition is that in this algorithm, page will be replaced which is least recently used. So consider this, the definition is replaced with the page which is least recently used. Now let us look at the example now. So this is a given reference string. Here seven zero one two zero three zero four two three zero three two three given reference string and again number of frames are four given here. Now we consider the values here. So here first we start with the four values. First four generally at the beginning all frames were free, so it will be a page fault condition or situation. So we have to write this four values here, seven, zero, one, two. This is PF. So next we have to consider value zero. When you consider the value zero, when you consider value zero here, in the reference string in the main memory, we have already zero is available here. So the condition is called page hit. We have to copy exactly as it is. Next after zero, we go for three. In the three, seven, zero, one, two, three is not available. So the condition is called page fault. So after page fault, we have to copy, we have to replace the new string that is page zero with any of the given string here. As per the definition, we have to replace with the page which least recently used. Now this value, this is for value zero. Now consider three. So this is, this is for page fault. So here, no page number three is not, uh, not available here. So it has to, is a condition called page fault. And here we have to replace with the least recently used. So now consider from three. Now for, from here onwards, we have to look for the backward pages. So if you are the backside and for optimal page uh, replacement, we are moving or looking for a frames from the right side of the values or the page number and for L or U, least recently used algorithm, we have to consider the left of the page numbers. So from here, if you consider this, the 7012, out of this, the 7 is lost, it is least recently used. So because of that, so that has to be replaced with value 3. So this 3 has to replace with this. So copy other values as it is. So after three, next we'll go for zero, value this zero. And here already this zero page available here, can is called page hit. And again, after this zero, next one is four. When it come to four here, the page four here, and here there is no page number four here. So it is a page fault situation or condition. So the four has to replace with least recently used. So from here, from four onwards, consider backside or left hand side of this. So accordingly, so here, 
if you consider this out of 3 0 1 2 here 3 0 1 2 1 is the last one here replace 1 with 4 here so this 1 has to replace with this 4 so 3 0 4 2 have to copy other strings as it is next this is after this go for value 2 or page 2 in the page 2 consider this already page available here it is a hit case condition and after 2 again 3 already 3 is available here it is a hit situation and after 3 we have 0 0 again the hit condition again 3 this value 3 it is all available here the condition is hit again 2 is available as well as 3 is available here. So if it, this is how the least recently used algorithm works. So based on this, now look at, we'll count number of page fault and total number of hit. So accordingly, there are six page fault and eight hit conditions or situation. So accordingly, if we calculate the page fault ratio and page hit ratio are actually 42.85 and 57.14, respectively. So this is an algorithm, least recently used algorithm for page replacement. In the next slide, we'll talk about most recently used algorithm. So in this algorithm, page will be replaced with which has been used recently. And so Bellady's anomaly can occur in this algorithm. So we're going to talk about this in my next slide. So what is MRU or most recently algorithm? Here, the new page is replaced with, which has been used recently or replaced recently. Now consider the example now, the, this is the given reference string and these are all the number of frames. In this example, there are four number of frames and this is a given string. Now let us start with the first values of first page seven. As you know that at the beginning, all frames were free. So all these are page fault situation condition. So this is seven here. This is seven. Remaining frames are free. And again, next one is zero. Next page is one. And next page is two. So after this, now seven, zero, one, two. Next we will go for the value zero. So value zero. If you look at the value zero, and here already the value is page available here. So this situation is called hit page hit. So we have to copy exactly as it is seven zero one two. So next one is we look for value three. So next value is three, and here page three is not available in the main memory. So it is a situation is called page fault. So we have to replace the recently used page here, replace the page here accordingly. If you look at this value of three from this point, if you go backward in the backside direction, so here the recently used is zero has been replaced recently. So replace the page three with page zero. So this will be replaced with three. So seven, three, one, two. Now after three, next value is zero. Again, this page fall situation. So again, if you consider from this point backward, three is the one which has been replaced recently, replace the zero with page three here. Now after this, this is a page four situation. Next, we'll go for value four or page four here. So again, there's a page fault condition. So most recently used is replaced is if you from four, if you go backward, it is zero. So we have to replace this uh, new page four with the page zero accordingly seven four one two next we'll go for next value is two here two it is already page two is available in the main memory so this is page hit condition next after two we'll go for next value is three for next value three if you consider this a page fault condition is a page fault occurs here so here the most recently used, if you look at from this, if you look into this side, back side, two is the one it has to be, it has been replaced recently. So, so we have to replace that, the new page three with the page two here. So this is the, again, page font. 
copy other values other pages as it is 7413 now after 3 next is page 0 so 0 and here again the page fault situation condition so most recently replace is 3 replace the page this 0 with 3 here so this is for this is 7410 next value is 3 next value is 3 here so here 3 is not available so page fault situation so accordingly replace the most recently used from if you from 3 the replace is 0 is the most recently replaced page so replace the new page 3 with this 0 so this is 7413 next we are next another value is 2 next page is 2 again 7413 the page is not available page fault situation or a page fault occurs here so replace uh, two new page with the recently replaced page here three so this is 7412 so remaining pages we have to copy as it is now after this two next value is three so in the next value is three here again 7412 the page fault occurs here so most recently replaced it is 2 replace the new page 3 with the page 2 here so this is the last page has been replaced here so the for the given string reference string this is how the pages has been replaced here with the algorithm most recently used algorithm so if you count number of hit and number of page fault according to the in this example there are 12 page fault and there are two page hit condition or situation so if you find out the ratio page fault ratio and page hit ratio formula is total number of page fault and again into 100 divided by total reference string accordingly you will get 85.71 percentage of page fault ratio similarly for page hit ratio it is 14.29 percentage so this is another page replacement algorithm that is most recently used algorithm in the next slide we will see what is bilardi's anomaly and here in computer storage bilardi's anomaly is the phenomenon in which increasing the number of pages frames results in increasing number of page fault for certain memory access pattern so this phenomenon is experienced while using fifo page displacement algorithm so generally if we talk about bellardi's anomaly what is the meaning of this so here as and when there is number of pages or number of frames are increased number increase even then the number of page fault increases so this situation of the phenomenon is called bilardi's anomaly now in the next slide we will see the uh, graph here generally if you consider this is number of frames and here number of pages here and if you have a graph here first we have only one frame obviously it will be value is will be page fault will be very high so as and when we increase the number of frames as and when we increase the number of frames and obviously the page fault should be decreased so this is the normal condition but what is bilardi's anomaly so this supposed to be the condition or the pattern of this but as per the bilardi's anomaly see here in some examples see increases in number of page fault for certain memory access pattern it is not generally for all for certain memory access pattern here though number of frames are increases number of page fault also increases that phenomenon is called bilardi's anomaly now this is the general graph of this the concept here is if number of frames are increase number of page fault supposed to be decreased but in bilardi's anomaly it is uh, abnormal behavior of the uh, memory access mechanism or technique now look at the example here so if you consider the page replacement algorithm here so this is one example accordingly these are the given strings given with there are 1 2 3 there are three pages here when we follow first in first out algorithm accordingly these are the values 
have given or these are the pages which has been replaced. So when we count here number of page eight and number of page fault. Accordingly, here in this example, there are nine page fault. So a number of frames are three. With three number of frames, again we have number of page fault is nine. Now consider example two. Again the same, this is the reference string given here. And these are the page replacements taken place. And when you count here, number of page hit and number of page fault here. In this also example is, in the example, the 10 page fault with three frames. So in the previous example, again with the three frames, there were nine page fault. And even with the three frames in the second example, page fault is 10. So this is abnormal behavior of page replacement algorithm is called Bellardi's anomaly. Now this phenomenon is experienced in, in the FIFO or second chance algorithm and random page replacement algorithm and we can see this Bellardi's anomaly in these types of in these three types of replace page replacement algorithm. Now, how can we avoid Bellardi's anomaly? Here, by using optimal page replacement algorithm and least recently used algorithm. See, by following these two replacement algorithm, this Bellardi's anomaly can be avoided. Students, so far in the session, we have learned different algorithm of page replacement or page re replacement algorithms. Now in the next session, we'll talk about the file system. Thank you very much.